What's going on guys? Mike back again with another Guild Wars 2 video. And today we will be going over the Plains of Ashford map area. Um, 100%. Just finished it up. Uh, you know, I should have finished it up last night when I was playing, but for some reason I couldn't get into this one area to get this point of interest. And today when I logged on, I was just, I was able to get it. I don't know what caused it. Maybe someone could leave it in the comments. And... Um, yeah, we'll go from there. So, uh, let's just start off. I just want to let you guys know also, this Plains of Ashford is another giant map. Uh, it's pretty much this giant rectangular area here, and there's a lot to do. Um, I mean, 16 tasks, it's quite a lot, but only 17 points of interest. Kind of kind of low on that one. It was a little strange, but whatevs. Uh, let's just get right into it. So, we'll start in the top left quadrant here. Um, we have our first task here at the Gunbreach Hills. Then we have one directly southeast of it, and then we have one directly northeast of that. So you have three right here, and then a fourth directly east of the Lake Ferritus. So four tasks in this one little area. It's, you complete these so quick, it's it's crazy. It's absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, number five we have at the Old, Duke, old Duke's Estate. Uh, number six we have at Victor's Presidium. Great. Number seven here, we have just southwest of the Charged Triumph. Then uh, just east or southeast of the Charged Triumph, we have number eight. That's eight, correct? I don't know why I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, that is number eight. Okay. Number nine is directly north of the Charged Triumph. Beautiful. Now number ten is going to be just east of that, uh, south of the Agnos Gorge. So there we go is number ten. Fantastic. Um, then we have number 11 here at the toppled wall. Great. Uh, number 12 here at the Ascalon City Ruins. Beautiful. Number 13, we have on this little island here. Um, I guess you could say it's in between the uh, Lamia Mire and the Windrock Maze. So right here. Uh, then we have number 14, just southeast of the Windrock Rays on this little corner island here. Beautiful. Uh, then we have number 15. All the way to the east here, uh, bottom right corner of the map. And number 16 here at the Cadam Fours. Um, so yeah, so hopefully uh, that'll give some insight on where things are. I actually could didn't find this one, and I didn't find this one. I, I don't know what it was. Like, I just completely ignored the bottom half of the map. And then there's a point of interest here that was, like, hidden that I just didn't see on the map. That took me about 20 minutes to find. Just go searching on the map. It was quite ridiculous. Um, everything else, though, it's pretty laid out. Or, uh, pretty laid It's laid out pretty well. Uh, everything is pretty much, you know, follow the paths and you'll find everything. There's really nothing under, like, caves or anything like that. Um, this is just probably the hardest one, or the one that confused me the most. This is like a little ogre camp. And there's a gate here and a gate, I believe, on this side or something like that. But they were closed. And you couldn't destroy them or anything. So last night I was running around like, what do I do? What do I do? I can't find a way to get in. So I just logged off. I said, I'm sick of it. So today I logged on. And all of a sudden the gates were destructible. So I ran up, destroyed the gate. And was just like, oh, okay. Let me just run in and grab that point of interest. So um, that's pretty much that. Uh, vistas are fairly simple on this map. Uh, really nothing too difficult. Uh, you know, this one you got to go behind the rocks for. This one, I believe, same thing. You climb up this way or maybe this way. I, I forget, to be honest. Um, but this is just the starting area. So I figure they didn't put in too many tricks or anything like that. Uh, where to go next? I'm actually not sure. Maybe I'll go to this 15 to 25 area. Uh, we'll probably go there and see what we can get there. Or maybe we'll go to the 1 to 15 area. This was like the starting zone, I think. Um, I got to finish these two before we move on. But, um, yeah, so that is that, and I am back to being a sword, a sword warrior here. I found this beautiful sword, the Honed Great Sword of Pillaging. It has beautiful stats on it, so I figured I'd pick it up and start using swords. I love swords, so that's just the way it is. And, um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Mike out.